So yeah, I I I, I can give you my name and everything. I, I ended up with, like I said, two manuals, which I don't know how they ship me two manuals, but I have no... Yeah, no worries. Uh, real quick, man, do you know who your salesman was when you... So we made sure we got the right manual? Yep, yep, yep. No, I got you. Don't worry about that. No, yeah. I understand. Yeah. You said it was the 2022 model, right? No, it's a 2023. I actually got 2022 uh, manuals from you guys, so... I need the the, the uh, 2023. Yeah. I'm actually going to talk to my boss about this, and we'll get you figured out, man. We'll get everything straight, all right? Not a problem, sir. I appreciate it. So, these guys have been pretty cool so far about everything. It's just, I don't know. You would think they could figure this out, right? It's just, I don't know. Anyhow, we'll see what happens. I, I can't knock them for at least they're trying, you know. So we'll see how it goes. All right, as you can see, this is titled, I'm, you know, I bought a new CT125, right? I was left to my own devices out in Arizona and I got myself into a little bit of trouble because I ended up buying a CT125. Now, usually these things are rare as hen's teeth, but uh, it seems like they're starting to get them in now. Um, unfortunately, they're not really negotiating on the price yet. I think if you want to get one, might be good to wait a little bit longer because I think the motorcycle market's getting soft. I think if you want to get one, might be good to wait a little bit longer because I think the motorcycle market's getting soft and so is the car market. So hold off a little bit because these interest rates suck. I was just in a position where I was able to do it. I sold a couple bikes, so I went ahead and went for it. I, and, and I've been wanting one of these for a while. So anyhow, long story short, um, I, I'm, not, I'm not doing this video to badmouth the dealership. They've all been very nice to me and patient with me, but there's a couple things that put a little bad taste in my mouth that I wanted to comment on. All, everybody was nice. Uh, the, only, the only thing that kind of stuck in my craw a little bit was the finance guy. He came out and tried to hard sell me on some things and I told him no, and when I told him no, he was also supposedly the same guy that was supposed to set the bike up or at least walk me through the bike. So there was a big delay on that. Anyhow. I was at the dealership for two hours for a bike that I called ahead on and they said they'd be ready. So I had my granddaughter there. She was great. Um, the experience wasn't horrible and the people were nice, but I was the like one of two people in the whole dealership at the time. So it wasn't like they were super busy. And I think this is a sign of things to come for, you know, motorcycle dealerships and car dealerships, unfortunately, um, due to interest rates and everything else, the fear that the economy is going to crash because of the nonsense that's going on throughout this nation. But anyhow, I digress. So I just wanted to comment on this video before I go through it. Uh, I was a little put out. Um, overall, they've been cooperative. Uh, but <laughs> as you know, they did send me uh, when I, I, I ended up not getting an owner's manual with the bike and I thought that was kind of weird. So I'm like, hey man, you guys had this bike ready? They said, well, we checked our other bikes and they didn't have owner's manual. They had like three of those CTs there, which I thought was unusual, but they didn't have owner's manuals for any of them. So I don't know if Honda's trying to just go online with the owner's manuals now or not. Uh, but after talking to the guy on the phone, as you saw, um, he said that that, uh, that Honda said to send me these. These are 2022 owner manual. And he sent, then they sent me two of them, 2022. But if you have any knowledge of this bike, the, the engine did, they did have some changes on the engine. So as you'll be able to see, there is another owner's manual online that is the correct owner's manual. And it shows those changes in the owner's manual. So I would like to have the, the correct owner's manual. I mean, simple as that. But again, like I said, maybe Honda's not printing them or they haven't printed them. It's almost the end of 2023. You'd think they would be printed by now. So anyhow, we'll see what happens. We'll see what they find out. But until then, just hope you enjoy the video. I'll comment at the end. But uh, not in any way am I trying to badmouth Ride Now Power Sports. I don't know if you guys had any experiences with it. Leave some comments below if you guys had any experiences with that company. Looks like a, a big nut, you know? They, they've got a big dealership there and there's quite a few of them, I guess. So they're, they're trying to sell, sell bikes and 
uh, the way things looked, it didn't look like they were very busy. So anyhow, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications and check us out at Instagram at man cave underscore mayhem. I've been excited to show you guys this bike. So here we go. What's today, Katie bug? Today. It's happy motorcycle day! Whoa, whoa, whoa! We're going to pick up the CT125. And I'm bringing my daughter with me. She's in tow and Grandpa is in the back. It's going to be an awesome day today. Woo, woo, woo! All right, That's things right. are going crazy. Ah, we got a crying baby and we're almost there. So hopefully we will make it in one piece. What do you think, Katie Bug? I think we will. Are you, you're not a man in a cave causing mayhem, are you? She actually thought up that saying. At least she claimed she did. Finally, so. some credit. She claimed Finally she did, some credit. but I don't think she did. I did. Right up to the ride now. Woo! <laughs> Happy motorcycle day, baby. Dirty windshield, but that's okay because it's Happy Motorcycle Day. We got an unhappy baby because we had to drive a ways. I'm going to hand the camera over to C-Dubs because that's going to be who we're going to have do the filming. Hopefully they don't care that we put them on YouTube. I think they'll be happy. These guys were pretty good to work with. I worked with them over the internet, which or over the phone most of the time and internet. So... We'll see how it works out. Let's see how smooth this goes. This is Bree with Ride Now. You're in, what do you do? Internet sales. Internet sales. So if you guys ever want to get down to Chandler, check check it out. Make sure you see them. It was a real easy process. So yeah, that's awesome. There she is. We got to think of a name for it. We got a little one here. Yeah. 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 Pretty awesome. It's a cool looking bike. Get paperwork done. And these guys are awesome. They helped me out a lot while we were down here. I had one of these too. Oh yeah. The two stroke one. There's a fun. Those. Are yeah, fun. those are fun too. So uh, Yamaha actually yeah. came out and they let us ride some of their units. Oh really? We are they pretty things. cool? Yeah, we took those things on the dirt. They're pretty fun. Yeah. This place is huge though. If you guys see. Man, they got everything off. We got to get them started young. She's ready to go. Are you ready to go, girlfriend? She's ready to go, yeah. They don't even have an owner's manual for me. They have to order one. So you would think that when you sell a bike to somebody that you would have all that stuff accessible at least, right? And uh, it took two hours for them to try to sell me an extended warranty and just, just craziness. So All right, that's going to about wrap it up for this video, folks. I don't want you guys to think that I'm being a negative Nelly. Uh, like I said, they were super nice to me. They're still working with me trying to figure this owner's manual thing out. And that's fine. At least they're not totally ignoring me, which is great. And I appreciate that. So I don't want you guys to think that I had a bad experience. It wasn't, it really wasn't. The people there were very nice. It was just kind of one of those uh, tail wagging the dog scenarios and maybe there needs to be a little more training or something. I don't know, you know, I'm not an expert. You guys can tell me, let me know in the comments below. I hope, I hope everything, uh, you know, I could be reading into this thing totally wrong and I'm, you know, I've, I've done worse things and, and messed things up before in the past, so I'm not trying to hold them accountable for anything. I think they're, they're working with me, so don't let that influence your buying experience with them. I'm not here to downgrade anybody's work or anything else, but uh, 
I know there's some places that are just sheer crooks. I don't think these guys are them, or at least they didn't act like it to me. Anyhow, there's going to be more CT125 videos to come in the future. So you'll see quite a few of those coming up uh, with some mods. I want to do a few things on that. So look for those. If you haven't yet, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Check us out at Instagram at mancave underscore mayhem. And just remember, folks, I'm just a man in a cave causing mayhem. Thanks again for watching.